Hey everybody, come on in, come on in. It's a little past lunchtime, but for me, it's lunchtime. So come on in. I got a little music playing in the background. Come on in, invite followers you all, invite followers. Cause it's going down, it is going down today. It has been a while since I've been in the kitchen and we're making one of my favorites, New England clam chowder, and we're making it in a healthy way, but a lot of flavor. And I got a couple of uh, my little secrets that we're going to add to it. You know, I got to have some secrets. Hey, everybody, welcome to the welcome to my Periscope, uh, Tamara. Oh my gosh, thanks so much for joining. Invite followers over, you all. Invite followers over before we get started. Let's jam pack this joint. Let's jam pack this kitchen. And um, you all are really going to enjoy this. I know you all are going to try this at home because it's super easy. Um, who is that? Uh, Cartinas. Oh my gosh. Thanks for joining. Good to, hear. Good to have you back, girl. Good to have you back from Pennsylvania. Love Chicago. Thanks for joining. Um, Miss Shannon shared. Oh my gosh, thanks so much. Eric, thanks for joining. Um, so make sure you all give me a lot of hearts. Give me some hearts. I've been a, been off of here for a while. So I got to pick up my hearts. Um, and make sure you all invite followers. Tell all your friends, tell your coworkers to join in on this Periscope right now, you all. Please, please support your boy. All right? Because today it's all about uh, a clam chowder, and it's based off of the Spice Diet, which is my book coming out at the end of, or excuse me, at the beginning of 2017. Uh, so I'm going to show you all ingredients that I use to bring in flavor, making it healthy for you. So we're using some substitutes, but trust me, you are not going to know that it's uh, being substituted. Is the music too loud, you all? Give me some feedback. Should I cut the music down? Should I cut the music down, you all? No, sounds good. Okay, well, I'm going to crank it up. All right, y'all. So, look, check this out. We're doing clam chowder, right? So, this is what we're going to be adding to the clam chowder. And I know it looks like a lot of ingredients, but these are all your my fresh vegetables, my produce. Um, I've got my garlic. I've got these beautiful, oh, my gosh, these beautiful purple carrots. Um, I got these from the farmer's market. Um, these are just, oh my gosh, these are so sweet. They're amazing. Uh, they bring in a really nice color to the, to the, uh, to the soup or the stew or the chowder. <laughs> um, we're using carrots and these are, of course, our traditional orange carrots. Beautiful color. Everything here has been, uh, curated from the farmer's market. Uh, we have our onion. We have fresh thyme. Always go with fresh if you can. Uh, dried is great too, depending on what you're cooking with. But for this, I'm going to go with the fresh. Uh, we've got our, our sweet red bell peppers. We got parsley. Now, traditionally in a in a um, in a chowder, you use a potato, right? So to cut our carbohydrates, uh, to cut the sugar. We're using parsnips, you all. How many of you all know what parsnips are? Give me some feedback. How many of you all know what a parsnip is? It's a root vegetable. Uh, it has a really interesting flavor profile to it. It has a wonderful smell. And we're going to use that to substitute our potato. Um, and we also have our celery. So here are our joints right here, y'all. Check these out. These are like the most beautiful clams. I had them on ice, but I've been cleaning them. Um, I had them on ice, but I've been cleaning them, just trying to get all the sand out. But check these out. These are colossal clams, you all. These are huge. Look how beautiful these are. Right? Whenever you, you all, whenever you're working with seafood, always make sure you clean your shellfish. These are, um, you know, these things, these right here 
have a lot of sand in them, so you want to get all the sand out, clean them really good. Make sure you cover it with ice. Um, you know, these clams, these clams, come out. these clams can have um, a lot of sand in them. So again, get the sand out. But you also want to cover it with ice. Make sure you're packing it with ice because you want to keep them alive. You know, also keep them uncovered. Very important when you're working with clams. Because if you keep them covered and you suffocate them, they're going to die. You know, we don't want no dead clams sitting in our belly, do we? Uh, no. So, make sure you make sure that uh, they are uncovered and they're covered with ice when you're storing them in the refrigerator. And make sure you're cleaning them, cleaning them very good, okay? So, let's check out the other ingredients. Of course, y'all, I had to add a little bit of bacon to this, right? Uh, I'm substituting a lot of things. Of course, we're using the parsnips instead of potatoes, we're using our fresh ingredients. But I'm using a little bit of bacon. A little bacon ain't hurt nobody. And instead of like, instead of using a heavy cream, what I did is I did a cornstarch slurry. So explain that. A cornstarch slurry is is literally just water and cornstarch, and I mix that up really well to get it very thick. And I'm going to use that to add the uh, creamy white color to the um, to the to the uh, to the chowder. And I'm adding a little bit of milk to it, just a little bit of low-fat milk. Okay. If you don't want to use milk, you can also use uh, coconut milk. Okay. So that is a great way to save calories, y'all. Like seriously, a lot of times when you're working with parsnips. Uh, excuse me, a, a lot of times when you're working with chowders, you're using a lot of heavy cream, a lot of butter, and we're cutting all that out. No butter, we're using only olive oil, and we're using the cornstarch slurry, and we're using a little bit of milk, and that's going to be used to give it the beautiful, rich uh, color and the thickness that we're looking for. Somebody asked, what does the flavor of a parsnip taste like? Uh, parsnips are kind of spicy. They're tangy. Um, they have a very interesting smell to them. They are a root vegetable. Um, they have a very unique flavor. I would recommend you to give them a try. They're very good. And uh, actually, sometimes when you're going into restaurants now, you can get uh, parsnips instead of mashed potatoes. So they'll do like whipped parsnips. And a lot of times you really can't tell the difference. Um, a lot of times you can't, but they're really good. No problem, no problem, Mr. Counting. So what else do we have our clam? I'm using a clam juice here, just a bottle of clam juice. I'm using a, a seafood stock that I made um, and I usually keep stocks in my um, in my freezer. So whenever I use shellfish or chicken or beef or whatever, I always make a stock out of it, and I just store it in my freezer. Um, so we're using a wonderful seafood stock here. Of course, my seasonings, right? Because we gotta add the spice. The spice is what's gonna give it the flavor along with the ingredients. I'm using a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes here. And I'm using a little bit of a lemon seasoning and a little bit of black pepper. And of course, my Shevlin hot sauce, y'all. How many of you all have tried my Shevlin hot sauce? If you haven't, you got to buy it. You can pronounce everything on the back of it. Very easy, very simple, right? So let's get started. I'm going to cut the, uh, again, I'm going to cut my heat on, on a medium. I'm going to add my... Um, I did a little bit of uh, roasted garlic, y'all. This is like golden heaven, y'all. Put some garlic and some olive oil, put it in the oven, y'all. This is like liquid gold. Oh my gosh, it is so amazing. But I'm using that for a different recipe, so I'm not gonna use it right now. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add a little bit of olive oil. Just a very little bit. A very little bit. <laughs> Thank you. The hot sauce is addictive. Somebody drop my website. If you're interested in buying the hot sauce, go to my website, www.judsontodallen.com. Again, you all, make sure you all uh, invite followers to this Periscope right now. Um, I'm adding my bacon because that's the other source of fat. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this going. I'm using that seasoned wooden. Bam, you see that? That means that this thing has been used and abused. 
Thanks, Miss Shannon, for uh, posting the website. Thanks so much, uh, Cartinas, for posting that website. All right. So we're going to cook this bacon down with the... Uh, I'm going to turn that uh, heat up. And you want to use a really nice stock pot for this, you know, because you're going to actually cook all your vegetables, your stock in here, bring everything to a boil, let those vegetables cook, and then we're going to steam, we're going to steam cook our clams in a little bit of water, all right? Yeah, the sauce is fire, y'all. The sauce is amazing. It is off the chart. If you haven't tried it, you have to. It is addictive. I use it as a salt substitute. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that I didn't add any salt, but I'm using my hot sauce as a salt substitute. It's going to bring in a lot of flavor, and it's going to complement the uh, other spices that I'm using. I'm using the crushed red pepper flakes here. I'm using the lemon pepper. And I'm also, again, remember, I'm using that uh, dry thyme. So what I do now is while my bacon is cooking, I like to cook my spices. I love, I have to, you know, when I'm cooking my, cooking my bacon or using whatever fat I have, I like to cook my spices because it brings out the natural oils in those, uh, in those spices. In your fresh herbs. So here, I'm just gonna take some of the crushed red pepper and add that. Again, I like it spicy, so, and then I'm going to take a little bit of that lemon pepper. Yeah, you really want to cook your spices. When you're cooking your spices, it just releases the natural oil, and you're left with just a much more pronounced flavor from your spices. You know, you want to, you want to kind of get everything out of your spices as possible. Get as much out of it as you can. Thanks for sharing. I'll add this to social media websites. Thank you at the end of the scope. Yeah, y'all. Pass this around. Share it around. Again, this is a healthy, uh, very, very healthy uh, New England clam chowder. You know, there's a couple of different types. You have the New England, which is the white clam chowder. And you have Manhattan, which is more tomato-based, of course, the red one. Um, but you, a lot of people tell you you can't eat the New England clam chowder because it's full of cream and butter and it's not good for you. But I'm giving you the recipe that shows you how you can make it healthy and still make it flavorful. And trust me, you're not going to miss any of the ingredients that they so-called use that makes it fat. Okay? You're not going to miss it. So let's put um, our spices here. Yeah. And don't get turned off by that dark color, y'all. That's flavor right here. All this right here, that's flavor. Somebody say flavor. Somebody type flavor. Give me some heart. Y'all know what flavor is. So I'm going to cut down the heat a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is come and start adding my vegetables. So I'm going to add my onions. I'm going to add all my vegetables. <laughs> Somebody say flavor, flavor. Yeah. I wish I had an easier way to do this, y'all, but... You know, I'm Scott, I'm periscoping and doing this at the same time, so <laughs> bear with me. Just make sure your hands are clean. Don't nobody want no body handling that stuff with dirty hands. See all that flavor coming together. And again, don't be turned off by this stuff, this, this right here. This is flavor, y'all. That's good stuff. You want all of that. And what we're going to do is once we add liquid to this pot, all of that is going to come up. All of that is going to come from the pan. So we add our carrots.
Yeah, bring it together. You can use a cookie cutter scoop for the vegetables. Exactly. You can, because I'm taking a long time with these veggies, y'all. <laughs> We all hanging in there with me. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? Uh oh. You know my song is on. Adele. Hello. Y'all know what that means. I gotta start singing. Who's ready for the chef to start singing? <laughs> Y'all know I like to hit it when Adele comes on. Somebody said no. Look, don't be hating. You know I got skills. I got musical skills. This is the voice of a go of a, of an angel. All right, I'm gonna hold it back. Oh, it smells so freaking good, y'all. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. So what I would do now is I'm gonna come with my uh, all of my liquid, my stock. That was my uh, clam juice. This is my uh, vegetable. I mean, excuse me, my seafood stock. So you see all that? All of this is flavor, you all. And don't be turned off. When you um when we add our slurry to this, it's gonna change the color. And you're gonna have a, uh it's not gonna be pure white like a clam chowder, but it's going to kind of get of course it's gonna turn it into a, a whiter consistency. Um a white color, uh, but it won't be like completely stark white. Like you see some uh, some chowders because we're not using the heavy cream. It's not going to be as rich in the white color, but that's okay because we don't need it. And of course, I'm going to come in with my Chef Blend hot sauce, you all. And I go in, look. But I grab it from the base, y'all, and I just start shaking it like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all. I'm addicted to my own sauce. There we go. And you can always add some towards the end, you know? We'll check the flavor profile. Take the white part off, I know, right? I do that all the time, trust me. I take the white part off. But you know, when I take the white part off, I'm gonna be honest, I over, like seriously, I go in. And I end up using the whole freaking bottle in like a day. But I'm a, I, it's just really good. And um, I try to limit the amount of sodium that I take in, so this is perfect for me. That's why I created it, you know? I created it because it was something that I needed, and it was something that helped me to lose weight. So, uh, it worked for me. You know, it really kind of worked for me as a, as a great um, condiment, as a great ingredient, and as a great spice, you know, for flavor, but healthy. So, one thing I wanted to add to this is uh, a little bit of lemon juice. Bear with me for one second, you all. I'm gonna put this right here. Uh oh. Okay, I'm back. So I'm gonna add a. In this right here, I don't have any fresh lemons with me, but this right here is a pure lemon, fresh pressed, um, organic. Um, So this is gonna give me a little acidity. 
you know, a little bit of acidity with the chowder. And then what we would do is I'm going to let this cook. Actually, I'm going to go ahead on and add my, uh, add my slurry and my milk and my water with my cornstarch. And that'll thicken this up a little bit. So the cornstarch is going to actually use, uh, we're using that as a nice thickener, thickening agent, as well as for the color. We use the milk just to add in a little bit of the creaminess, but by making it a little healthier for us. And then I'm going to cover this up. And I'm going to let that cook. And then what we'll do is we'll steam. We're going to steam our clams and uh, add our clams to the mix. What type of soup is this? It's a uh, New England clam chowder. So, you know, it's made a little, it's made in a healthier way. Um, we're using a lot of different substitutes, so this is kind of my play on clam chowder. Uh, it tastes just like regular clam chowder, but the you know what we're doing is we're substituting the heavy cream and the butter, and we're using uh, cornstarch slurry, and we're using um, a little bit of low-fat milk, and we're using parsnips instead of potatoes. Uh, parsnips are, of course a lot healthier for you it's a, a root, you know another root vegetable but uh, a lot healthier for you um, especially if you're trying to watch your uh, major carbohydrate intake so uh, some people can't really eat the white refined potatoes um, also if you don't want to use potatoes you can use sweet potatoes excuse me if you don't want to use white potatoes or parsnips you can use sweet potatoes as well so you know, there's no rules when it comes to it. Um, sweet potatoes are definitely healthy for you, uh, and they work well with this as well. It's different. You know, it's not your traditional clam chowder, um, but it works, you know. And the most important thing is that you're getting your spices. Again, we use fresh thyme. Uh, we used uh, the spices, you know, and the spice is everything, right? We talk about my book, The Spice Diet, right? And I introduce you all to the different spices and ingredients you can do use to really just change a complete profile of a dish, right? Uh, something that we just always love. I love clam chowder. But when you look at the calorie content, it's like, okay, dang, I can't eat that. But if you find a way to use the right ingredients and the right spices and the substitutes, then you can enjoy it guiltlessly. Is that a word? Guiltlessly. <laughs> um, the book comes out at the beginning of 2017, all right? So I'm going to be talking about it. Uh, this will be one of the recipes that will be in the book. So you're kind of getting a first kind of first glance at uh, what you can expect to see. Um, and get excited for it because it's, it's, it's the, I, I call it the missing link behind what many cook, you know, many kind of healthy cookbooks and all these other different, uh, diet platforms out there, uh, have tried to be or, uh, have tried to accomplish. Um, you know, this right here is that missing link that, that, that many have either forgotten about or, or tried to attempt. But uh, but this is the answer here. So, all right, um, I'm gonna show you all what the finished product looks like uh, after it cooks. Of course, I'm not gonna hold you on Periscope and have you sitting here waiting uh, while I cook down the chowder because, of course, it takes time to cook. But I'm gonna show you what the finished product product looks like. I'll take pictures. Um, add me on Instagram. Add me on Twitter. At Judson Tide Allen. If somebody can go ahead on and drop that link at the bottom. Thanks so much, Inspiration Mom, for joining. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to be posting the photos of that. Uh, you can always go back to this Periscope and take a look at how, uh, you know, look and see what ingredients I use, how I cooked it. 
um, just so you can get kind of a point of reference. I encourage you all to try the recipe at home. Very simple. Make it your own. You know, have fun with it. And um, definitely go ahead on and buy my hot sauce. Buy like 100 bottles of my hot sauce. And you can do that at JudsonTiedAllen.com. I'm sick. Can you deliver it to me? Oh, I'm sorry, Brooke. I can deliver you a hug virtually. <laughs> but I hope you feel better, Brooke. Big shout out to Brooke. Hey, y'all, let's, uh, let's give Brooke um, a get well soon shout out, y'all. Let's show her some love. Hopefully you get better, um, Brooke. All right, you all. So, again, I'm going to be showing you all with the, yes, good question. What sizes should the clams be? Uh, you can buy clams in any sizes. Uh, I'll show you all. These are the ones that I got. These are the, like the colossal. These are huge. The giant clams. Um, I had them covered with ice. Of course, I'm cleaning them so the ice melted. But um, when you're working with these guys, make sure that you keep them on ice when you're storing them in the refrigerator and keep them uh, uncovered. You do not want to keep these clams covered because if you do, you'll suffocate them and they'll die. And you don't want no dead clam um, roaming around trying to get into your belly. So make sure they're uncovered, make sure they're covered with ice. Secondly, make sure they're clean. These guys have a lot of sand in them. So you got to make sure you can see kind of some of the sand down here. Make sure these guys are clean. Get the sand out, okay? Because you don't want a, a gritty chowder at all. All right? Hopefully that answers your question. Does that answer your question? I hope so. Any other questions? Any other questions? Again, for those that just join, I'm going to be posting the photos of the finished dish. I'll also be jumping back on uh, Periscope when it's done, just so you all can see what the finished product looks like. Uh, photos of the dish will be on my Instagram, Twitter, at Judson Todd Allen. Please follow me. Tell all your friends and fans and baby mamas and cousins and aunties to follow me. Um, also... Uh, follow me on Facebook, like my fan page, and that's Chef Judson Todd Allen. I post a lot of different recipes. I do a lot of different things on there. Uh, I've got some events coming up uh, as well that I'm excited about that I'll be sharing on those social media platforms where you'll be able to come out and try my food, uh, either tasting or uh, you can come and purchase tickets to uh, enjoy my cuisine. So more information on that via my website at uh, www.judsontodallen.com or on my social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Judson Todd Allen, and Facebook, Chef Judson Todd Allen. All right. I know that's a lot, y'all. So I'm going to get out of here. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, just give me some thumbs up. Let me know if you all learned um, a little bit from this, if you all enjoyed the scope. I just want some feedback. I definitely want to make sure that I'm giving you all uh, something that, you know, that will help you all out in the kitchen. All right. I see some thumbs. Good. Give me some thumbs if you've enjoyed it. Thumbs if you're going to try it at home. Let me know you're going to try it at home. Great, great. This is good stuff. Good stuff. All right, y'all. Good, good. It looks like, yeah, oh, my gosh, y'all are going to try this. Okay, cool. I'm excited. So when you try it, you got to tag me in the photo, all right? And then I'll, re, I'll re, uh, repost it, all right? Thank you so much, Ms. Shannon. Thank you. That means a lot to me. You know, the feedback um, is always good. Um, I accept all feedback, you know. Uh, so, I appreciate it. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to jump off of here. This is my boy, uh, Ruben Stutter, singing in the background. Y'all know I used to sing. Uh, I sang a Ruben Stutter song when I was in college. Yeah, and I forgot the words, so I started making up words. Yeah, but it sounded really good. It sounded really good. <laughs> I just didn't know the words. <laughs> 
which is so classic me for anybody that knows me. I will jam to a song and not know the words to the song at all. But I rehearsed it for so long, y'all. I rehearsed it and it just, the words just left my brain. Oh, you got to download Thumbs, girl. Oh my gosh. You got to get you some Thumbs. Make you want to cook. Yeah, so make sure you all get in the kitchen and cook. It's super easy. Uh, don't let the, don't let these things intimidate you. Whatever you do, don't let recipes, don't let cooking intimidate you. Super easy. It is super easy. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a chef. But the recipes that I give you are recipes that uh, are approachable. They're flavorful. Um, they're healthier for you. And a lot of times they're, you know, they're simple they're simple so that all you have to do is have the ingredients chop that stuff up you know a lot of your time is going to be involved in the preparation uh you know the chopping and everything because you want to use fresh uh vegetables and fresh ingredients as much as possible but once you do that the rest of the stuff is super easy you know i mean this right here this chowder super easy super simple and trust me, that's something that can feed a family for uh, a week. You know? Depending on what family you got. <laughs> Back in the day, it would have fed me for like a day. <laughs> or for lunch. <laughs> but, uh, but just depending on, you know, these are things that you can allow to stretch. No matter what your income is. No matter what your cooking level expertise is. You know, all of these things that I, I share with you. Uh, I try to bring it to a level that everybody can appreciate. Where can we get purple carrots in Delaware? I'm not sure where you can get them from Delaware, but I would encourage you to try uh, either farmer's markets. Um, I'm sure there's like different type of uh, healthy food stores there or co-ops. Co-ops are really great uh, because co-ops source ingredients from local producers, right? Um, and uh, what you can do is, if you really want them, call your local grocery store and tell your local grocery store, look, I would like you all to carry um, uh, purple or, or, or tricolor carrots. And they usually come in a bag and they're like, uh, you get purple, you get uh, white or, or uh, orange, you know, you get multiple colors in there. So, you, you know... You as a consumer have a lot of power when it comes to letting your grocers uh, know what it is that you want them to carry. And it just really means you either going up there or putting in a phone call, okay? A lot of people don't know that, but you carry a lot of power uh, as a consumer and as a, as a uh, patron of these grocery stores. You let them know what, what you want, you know? Let them know what you want and let them know what you want them to carry. Woo, this is Layla Hathaway, though. Mmm. Layla killed this song. How many of y'all know that? I was... Angel? Woo, she killed this song. Oh, my gosh. You and me high. Mmm. Me, I, even when I, I can always come to you. You're my angel. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm not going to even pretend like I can sing like Layla Hathaway. Not even a tip. Not at all. No, no. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all so much. Again, thanks for rocking with me in the kitchen. We had a good time. We made clam chowder. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be showing you all what the finished product looks like. And I will catch you all soon. All right. Make sure you follow me. Tell all your friends and, and social media folks to, to follow me. Join me on Periscope with Jetson Allen. Join me on my website and Twitter and Facebook, y'all. Love you.